everybody, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Mark and Steve here. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10.3, some of the awesome new features in this release. And Steve is going to dive more into audio here again because there's so much going on with audio and something with roles. Something with roles. Uh, they've given us the ability, Apple has, of assigning our voiceover to specific parent roles which is fantastic. Uh, your voiceover won't just get randomly connected to, the, your, to your primary storyline anywhere. You can tell it where So it'll, it'll pop out, because you can, you can create new parent roles for anything and new sub roles for anything and color code them anything you want and put them anywhere you want. Absolutely. All right. So let's, let's take a look. Show us. Okay. So a little, little background here. I did this little short video uh, uh, on our YouTube channel where I'm trying to convince my wife why we should buy a $5,000 lens. It's up there, you can watch it. <laughs> but <laughs> there's a section in here where I'm off camera and I'm taught, and I'm, I have kind of this, throw, this throwaway line. I'm gonna go ahead and play it, play it for you. Did you bring a movie crew on our date night? Well, sometimes it's better to show and not tell. Okay, so. I say this, sometimes it's better to show and not tell, and I say it off camera, but yes. I don't like my delivery. I'd like okay. to like do it a little bit different, so uh -huh. this is where the voice so over tool. So you can do a little ADR here. A little ADR here, okay. exactly. Now, um, I'm going to expose the sub roles so you can see here that I have a lane called voiceover already created. I, in fact, just so you, for way, by way of reminder, if I hit, uh, uh, Shift E, I'm, I created the keyboard shortcut. Uh, these sub roles were created ahead of time by adding a sub role and then assigning them. In the okay? role editor. Right, and we cover that in all of our, our, our content yes. on, on this channel. But just wanted to show you that that's how these got created in the first place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here, and this is the one I wanna replace. I'm gonna select, actually, I have this new keyboard command, command down and, arrow, yeah, and I can select it. No, right? no clicking. I don't have to click. Okay. And then V, I wanna disable that. and. I'm going to park the playhead where I want the voiceover to, to go, and I'm going to go up to the window menu and choose record voiceover. Okay. So I'm going to get the record voiceover window. It's pretty much the same record voiceover window that we've always seen. It's got, you can set your input, uh, where, where the microphone is coming from, how you monitor, that sort of thing. What's new is this little pop up here, roll, says, Role says, Steve, I can now choose what role nice. that voiceover gets assigned to. Nice, not after the fact, but right, right away. Right there, like, I know this, I'm about to do voiceover. I created a, a parent role, role, so I'm gonna choose. Yeah. I'm gonna assign it there. Okay. Okay, and then let's go ahead and, I'll go ahead and do it, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my Mac, built-in MacBook Pro mic. Well, sometimes it's better to show and not tell. All right, so I did, I'm gonna go ahead and close the voiceover, and look what happened. It put it right down here. Let's see here. And yeah, this is the, vo this is the voiceover lane. You can see, there's the voiceover lane. Put it right yep. there, and I'll play it. And I'm, it's not gonna be the best quality, but that's not the point. Right. Date night? Well, sometimes it's better to show and not tell. So there it is. I can assign voiceover to any lane and have it nice. flow right into it. And then you could like focus on that particular lane and just, just focus on all the voiceover you've added there. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> there it is, how you get your voiceover into a specific lane. Nice. So it just shows the flexibility of how you can assign roles and make it very easy to tell exactly what's going on in your timeline. Exactly. Okay. Um, what's new in depth at rippletraining.com will take you through all these new features. We're going to keep going here, so keep coming back if you're interested in 10.3 and how to take advantage of it. This is a place to be. Thanks for watching.